Hey guys, Joshua here, and this is the updated comparison between the Secret Lab Titan and the DX Racer King series. I'm doing an updated comparison because previously, there were some issues with the Secret Lab Titan that they sent over. The back was not seated properly onto the base, so it caused the back of the chair to slant, and because of that, it wasn't performing up to its full potential. But I think they fixed all these QC things because I have friends who have received their Secret Lab Titans, and I helped them build it, and so far, they've been in perfect condition. Maybe I was just unlucky with the problems. Anyways, the Titan has now been fixed, and now after using both these chairs for 6 months or so each, I can now give you my comparison. Just in case there are people who don't know this, the Secret Lab Titan and the DX Racer King series are literally in the same category for height. They are recommended for people that are 175cm tall and above, which I am. Seriously, it's really annoying when people think that the Titan and King are made for different height people. Anyways, moving on. Let's focus on the similarities first. Both chairs are made out of PU leather, have multiple adjustable functions from tilt to height adjustment, enough customizability that you will find your perfect fit. Their armrests are pretty similar, though the new Secret Lab ones are now softer, not so sure about the DX Racer ones. And for assembly, even for first timers, actually for first timers, it may be a bit hard for both chairs. Grab a friend to help you out, I guarantee the process will be a lot smoother. But if you build one of these gaming chairs before, it can definitely be a one-man job. I built both these chairs myself. Both the chairs are easy to clean and maintain and for this year plus, there has been no peeling of leather for either of them which I'm hoping will continue on even in the years to come. The differences are, let's go from the bottom up. The sitting base before the arch comes up for the Secret Lab Titan measures in at 34cm while the Titan King series comes in at 40cm. This is interesting because that's a 6cm difference that if you're on the thicker side, you may prefer the King. I say this, but the slope on the Titan isn't actually that high and I've sat cross-legged on it with no discomfort at all, so just FYI. The design is also slightly different where the Titan has a one-piece design for the sitting base, the King series is a two-piece stuck together kind of design, so there is a chance of dust and dirt getting stuck in the cracks, which for maintenance purposes, I would say that the Titan has the advantage just because it is so much easier to clean. With the King, you will need a really good vacuum to suck up all the dirt that gets stuck because the seat base isn't removable. Up to the lumbar support. For the King, the lumbar support is actually another piece which you have to install yourself by using the strap and bands attached to the lumbar support pillow and I have to say it really works. My back feels a lot less tired even after a few hours in the chair and because it's so easy to move up or down, you can nestle it at the small of your back very easily and it will just stay there. For the Titan, the lumbar support is actually built in and this lever thing is the one that controls the amount of protrusion the lumbar support has and personally for me, it just isn't enough. I had to add the Secret Lab lumbar pillow in as an added accessory because yeah, I needed to feel like there's something supporting my back. Even then, after using this for 6 months, I've realised that because it is soft and not actually very solid, I feel the king takes it here in terms of ensuring that I sit properly when doing my work. Up again is the design in the neck part of the chair. The Titan is again a single full piece while the DX Racer has two holes cut into it which makes it look like a race car seat but at the same time, these holes serve as holes to thread the band for the lumbar pillow and also the neck pillow through. Speaking of neck pillow, because the King has these holes, it enables me to very easily mount the neck pillow in the position and for me it's just nice and very comfy. Someone who is taller may not enjoy it because the position is relatively fixed and you don't get that much adjustability on where to place it, so you may choose to remove it or whatnot. The Titan's neck support is this pillow, and it's made out of softer material than the DX Racer one, and you put it on via an elastic band that goes around the top of the chair. For me personally, I keep having to pull the neck pillow down a bit more whenever I sit down, due to the fact that when I get up, the elastic band just pulls it up a tad higher than I would like. Other than these key differences, I have to highlight again, these two chairs are in the same category, made for the same minimum height, and can support more than 100kg easily. In the 6 months each that I've used these two chairs, my conclusion is that, without going into the nitpicky details of each chair because trust me, that will easily take an hour each, the Secret Lab Titan is a lot comfier to sit in for long hours at a time, but it doesn't force me to maintain a proper sitting posture due to the fact that the pillows and 
everything about it is soft so even slouching in a chair is still super comfortable I've even fallen asleep in it quite a few times while the DX Racer King series forces you to have a proper posture and provides for me at least better back and neck support because the pillows provided are sturdier and yeah I actually have not been able to fall asleep in the king chair at all it's just not that comfy for sleeping but it does ensure that you are seated properly that was still a bit long TLDR, Secret Lab Titan for comfort and good back support plus sleeping the X-Ray is a King series for amazing back support and proper posture when seated. I hope the video was helpful if you're looking to pick up a chair, especially since it's nearing Christmas. Leave a comment on which chair do you prefer or which do you have. And if you have the privilege of comparing both chairs, do leave a comment with legit reasons on which you prefer. Like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!